Hi, this is Aaron for BandLab, and in this video we're going to make a beat in the style of DaBaby using BandLab's free online DAW. You can open this project yourself with the link in the video description, and if you find this guide useful, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to be the first to know when new videos drop. I begin this project by setting the tempo to 180 BPM and the key of the project to G-sharp minor. The first element I'm going to add is a plucked guitar patch, guitar's nylon guitar. I sequence an arpeggio part with this instrument that plays G-sharp minor, B major, F-sharp major, and E major. Unlike your typical arpeggiated pattern, the sequence I've created here plays the root note, then the fifth, with the third playing last an octave up from the root note. This gives it a different feel from playing the arpeggiated notes more traditionally. I also want this part to have a bit more of an atmospheric vibe, so I open the effects panel and add a reverb, studio reverb effect. I turn down the mix to 4.3 and set the size to 2.8. Adding reverb in this fashion makes the part sound much more natural, which is often the case with acoustic instrument sounds. Next, I'm going to add a beat, so I add a virtual instrument track, and this time select Drum Pads Trap Kit. I start off by adding a clap to the third beat of the first two bars, then add clicks on the first beat of the first bar, the second beat of the second bar, and halfway between the third and fourth beats of the second bar. For the closed hats, I place one on every eighth note, leaving gaps for the kicks. To create a closed hat roll, I switch the view grid size to 30 second notes and put a 30 second note roll at the start of the second bar. I drop the velocity of the second hit to 90 to make the roll sound a little more natural and duplicate the notes out by holding Option on Mac or Alt on Windows and dragging them over. Before I add any more elements, I turn the guitar down to around negative 4.5 dB to give us a little more headroom. Next, I want a big 808, so I create a new virtual instrument track and select Synth Bass 808 Saturated Bass. This part is pretty simple and just follows the root note of the chords. I also want a sound to play during the breakdowns, and for this I select Voices Lush Vocals. Again, this part just follows the root note of the chords, and to give it an ethereal feel, I add a studio reverb with maxed out mix and size parameters. Another element I add to help with the arrangement is an impact effect. I open the samples menu, click the loop tab, and enter impact into the text search field. I drag Impact Deep 3 onto a new audio track and create a duplicate version of it, again by holding Option on Mac or Alt on Windows. I double click the duplicate to bring up the editor panel and click the reverse button to reverse the audio. I then truncate the end of the sample and use the reverse version to lead into the original version. This creates a buildup and impact that can be used to add a real sense of drama to our arrangement. The arrangement is based around three repeating sections. First, we have a breakdown with no beats or bass. Then the beats and bass come in. The beats and bass play a second time, but this time some extra claps are added to the beat to build it up a little. The second time around, the breakdown also features the lush voice part and the impact effect. The 
third time around, the bass and guitar both played during the breakdown. This time, though, they're both high-passed, which removes the lower frequencies from the mix. To do this, I add a tone multi-filter effect to a track, set its mode to high-pass, then bring up the automation view and select the multi-filter's frequency. I can then simply click the envelope to automate the frequency parameter. I cut the guitar part at around 1 kHz and the 808 bass part at around 300 Hz. For the next breakdown, we get the lush voice and impact effect combo again, and for the outro, it's just the guitar. Remember, you can fork this project and make your own version of it using the link in the video description. Have fun.